Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, gosh, thank you guys, all of you, for coming on. And uh, we got a short, not too many today, but that's okay. We're, uh, I'm really excited that everybody's here. And, and um, if you have any questions at the end when Sheila presents and stuff, if you can, just raise your hand or you know, put the little hand thing up and we'll we'll get on you and make sure you get to say things. I want to make sure I say uh, thank you to Molly for running the last meeting. She did a fabulous job. She is a just a great person and uh, she does a, fa a, a fantastic job. And I watched that whole thing and everybody did great. So I uh, just want to make sure that Molly knows if she watches this that uh, we're very appreciative of her doing it. Um, so, hey, Marsha, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Good to see you. It's so, good to be back. Oh, back? Where'd you go? No, back with you guys. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I've been away for a few months. <laughs> we missed you. Well, thank you. <laughs> good seeing you. Well, I'm going to get right into it with Sheila because um, of her timing, and uh, we want to get get it, this all presented so then we can have question and answer. Uh, so Sheila, is it Thielen? Sheila? Yeah, is, uh, is going to present for us today. She is the owner of, uh, it's a vestibular training services. And uh, what's your website again, Sheila? spinyourbrain.com i put it in the chat <laughs> oh spin hello spinyourbrain.com and uh i'm just really excited you know i don't know a lot about sheila uh we've talked once um i'm just very excited to have her come on here i've looked at some of the stuff that she does she's on uh instagram a lot and uh there's a ton of information that she does there so I'm going to ask you, Sheila, if you don't mind, to tell us a little bit more about yourself before you get started, and we'd love that. Perfect. Thank you so much. I was just on Aaron's show, so like I feel like I it, this it just feels like so much this week. I'm so excited. So I'm Sheila Thielen, and I always open up with the fact that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a PT. I'm not a doctor. I am a master figure skating coach and it sounds weird, but I've been doing this for over 30 years in coaching and I've owned the company for 28 years. And um, I always remember it because my son is 27 and I was pregnant when I started the company with him. Um, and so I, I had this harness company and I, uh, we actually are the number one sports figure skating training harness company in North America. I was saying we're probably number one in the world, uh, but I couldn't get the numbers out of the Russians to prove that. So I'm just going <laughs> with North America. So, yeah, we've been doing this forever, but I really come from children and athletes. And, um, and I've worked with everything from three-year-olds through Olympians like you see on television. Uh, I've worked with them somewhere along their careers. Uh, and although I'm in figure skating, we don't get to be called an Olympic coach unless you're the one head coach of that athlete. That's the only one person that gets to say they're the Olympic coach. So the rest of the coaching staff doesn't get to say that. So I, I can say I'm an Olympic developmental coach. But I, I don't get to say that I'm an Olympic coach, even though I've worked with so many Olympians. So, so, so I find that fascinating. But I expanded the company in 2020, which was a great time to expand your company. Like it was the worst time ever. And I did it. And basically what my company is, is moving from just the sports world to the general population. And that's what our exciting process has been. And where not only have we enjoyed it, but we've learned so much even as a company and, and myself. And it's so fascinating to watch people's improvements. And that, that's what today's all about. Awesome. Thank you. So do you have uh, more that you want to present to us? Or let's start there and then we can start at having a question and answer after that. 
Right. So uh, you're going to turn me into the host and I can okay. let more people in as they, if they pop in, I can right. watch the screens. I'm a multi-screen okay. watcher here. And uh, the, oh, now I'm the host. Great. So then I can screen share and just kind of show you what my product really is. And it, if you really look at it, of course, it looks like sports training tools. Um, but you know, before I share, hold on one second, before I share, er, um, I just want to talk about what the vestibular system is. Okay. And what the vestibular system is, is it's these three little canals right inside your eardrum. So here's your eardrum. So here's your eardrum. Stick your finger in your ear. Oh, there's your eardrum. Okay. It's just right on the inside. But this vestibular system, these little three semicircular canals control, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, your entire life. Okay. Your entire life. It's how your eyes and ears process back into your brain. And it's, it's tied to 20 major things. Yet in the same sense, your vestibular system Oh my goodness. It's it, the three big ones that we talk about all the time is it's connected to your balance, your cognitive processing speed, and your non-spatial disorientation. In it, it which so like think of like driving a crowded room, coming in and out of buildings, you know, all of those processes. Uh, your your vestibular your system really takes takes control over. And I always talk about nobody knows what it is until it breaks. And, and that's, that's when people are like, oh, I have vertigo and, and I've got really bad dizziness and I, I'm, you know, I'm, my brain is slowing down because your processing speed has changed because of that vestibular system. So let me just quick, I'm going to screen share because I've, I've shocking, crazy videos and I have really slow videos. Um, but I kind of like to start with the shocking ones just because you can see how I really came to this whole group here. So I always love my shocking ones because this is some of the videos that NASA loved. And you're gonna laugh. I I have a really busy desktop, but I recently was in um, Australia. So I presented and I was at the Sydney Opera House. So this is one of my favorite crazy fast videos of this girl that NASA used in one of their presentations. Cause even NASA was like, mm -hmm. how'd you do that? Because at the end, she's going to tell us she's not dizzy. Okay, so we can crank her up. And oh my gosh, look at this kid rotate. Okay. Is that just make it dizzy just looking at it? <laughs> Makes you so dizzy just looking at it. Uh, and this girl, but like she's got a midline cross and she's cranking on that vestibular and she's speeding up and she's slowing down. And she's got horizontal, vertical, yaw balance. She's got all these balance points, but watch this. She'll tell us she's not dizzy. Coming down. And then of course, the most amazing part to the whole story. Okay. How dizzy are you? Um, I'm not dizzy. Not that dizzy. Not dizzy at all. Thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> is she a skater? Yeah, she's a skater. But she came to me as like an average athlete. And now she's an elite athlete. She came to me as kind of an average kid. And now she's an, a, like a really high level academic kid. But you'd think that would be like my number one video. <laughs> but I'm going to show you my number one video on LinkedIn. It, it's, it's one of our friends who uh, this is more of the reality of that broken vestibular. Okay. So what she's going to do, is she's just going to make one turn. So to really be on the gear, I, I'm going to talk about the, the downsides. You have to be able to stand. You have to be what? able to stand. I didn't hear that. You have to be able to stand, you know, okay. like stand up. So so really, um, there's other products out there if you're wheelchair bound, but you do have to stand. And weirdly, it takes so much cognitive processing just to handle this. But notice she's doing horizontal, vertical, yaw. She moves her head around. And She's just working on her balance at that same time. And I'm, I'm going to tell my happy story about her. She, um, she hasn't fallen since she's worked with me five minutes once a week. Wow. Yeah, and, and that's, that's the exciting part. So as we talk about stroke patients and we talk about the aging process, um, I'm just going to quick show one of my other, um, one of my doctor friends who is who's been using the gear because he was a dizzy balance specialist who is dizzy himself. And 
And, and what they do is at one point they pan to the side, they pan here to the left and you'll see his eight-year-old running the gear. Okay, like it's super easy gear to run, but the eight-year-old is running it in the background. So just, I'll just quick show him for just like 45 seconds here real quick. Hi, LinkedIn friends. It's been uh, great to be with you all this year. I've really enjoyed your posts. Got a lot of new connections. Uh, hit it, Liam. Happy New Year to you all. You're probably thinking about possibly starting some New Year's resolutions, <laughs> and that might include working out. I want to thank Sheila Thielen. She has allowed me to train with her vestibular uh, spinning devices and harness. It's been a very interesting experience. I have been training for two months, and I started at 10 spins, and now I'm up to 30, and I can actually talk while I'm standing on the platform, which is pretty cool. Um, my dizziness that I get at the end is minimal, and we're going to show that to you. I'm going to have you video my eyes at the end, but my point is uh, that our bodies can compensate, and they can adapt. Whether it be you have an inner ear problem, or you have muscle weakness, or a neurological problem, if we can stimulate our bodies at the right dosage, at the right consistency, over a period of time, we will get better. So stick with your New Year's resolutions and go after it. Second thing I want to tell you that's really cool is that our inner ears move our eyes when we move our bodies. Our inner ears also help us see clearly when we move our heads. And so part of spinning training is trying to train that reflex not to hit quite so hard when we spin. Sheila's uh, ice skaters have fascinated me because they can spin and their eyes don't hit hard after spinning like tornadoes, so it's amazing. So come on in and get this video. You can see maybe my nystagmus. I have purposefully tried not to fixate or focus on anything so that it would keep hitting hard. Um, but when, I, when my eyes are spinning like that, I'm trying not to focus on the camera, um, I feel spinning. Now my spinning is gone. Point is, uh, for all of those of you who are battling dizziness or are uh, a therapist or a doctor, an audiologist, uh, who's helping people with dizziness, you know, one thing, he keeps talking. I'll stop him there. But but you can see it, it. what it really is, is it really is just a gentle spinning platter. And I used to think I had to crank on people as hard as the kids. Like I used to think it had to be a tilt a whirl to see improvements. And I have to tell you, I'm absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. Because really in just slow, gentle turns, we were able to improve everyone's balance, you know, and, and I didn't have to make it a tilt roll and I didn't have to make it be so fast that you threw up. Uh, you know, like <laughs> that's not fun. Uh, so what we ended up doing is we teamed up with another company called body tracks, which is a balance mat. So we would test people in advance, um, 10 seconds, eyes open with two feet balance. And then we'd test two sec two, I'm sorry, 10 seconds, eyes closed and then go do the harness and spinner and then come back and retest. Um, I, I have to quick show the results of um, my 76 year old mom, okay? Uh, who had many, had several, several falls is why she came to me. So let me just quick show uh, the improvements here. So she started out and, and you can, and the interesting part of these balance mats is there's so many, many, many physical therapists have these. And my mom started out with a horrible score of over seven inches of head sway in 10 seconds with her eyes open. So like her head's really weaving, kind of like a, what do you call those little teeter-totters? Yeah, or the, yeah, she's really moving. She had 22 inches of foot movement in that 10 seconds. And you can see her balance is all over the place. But when we really looked at it and I talked to her about it, the red dot right here is her head. And I'm like, have all your falls been forward and to the left? And she's like, yes, they have when she really thought about it. So we put my mom on the gear. And once again, the nice part is I'm only talking about five minutes, you know, twice a week or, or five minutes, you know, once a week, you know, nothing, nothing scary or hard or, or overwhelming. So I put my mom on the gear. And you can kind of see in the background, it's got like the little control box and right behind it is the foot pedal. So I can control the direction and the speed and that's all I need to do. And then just step on the little pedal. Um, you can't really see the pedal in the picture. There we go. But then it's just gentle turning. So with that, what it really does is it's how the eyes and ears process back into the brain, but it's a lot of stimulation. It's a lot of processing to be able 
to do this. So in the end, she's gonna do about seven turns counterclockwise. She'll rest for one minute. We'll go back seven or eight turns clockwise, rest for a minute, and, that, and then go one more time for a total of three sets back counterclockwise. So counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Nothing hard, nothing scary, nothing overwhelming. And then here's her post-test. Here it comes, here we go. So her post-test is shockingly different. So she goes from that 7.14 inches of head sway down to 0 0.18 in just five minutes of vestibular training. She goes from 22.79 inches of foot movement in 10 seconds, more than half, cut in half, to 9.81. She goes from four circles of the bullseye down to the center two, stays in that center circle. She's still got a lot of movement, but it's all quieting down into that center zone of her balance. So this, this is the exciting part of our company uh, for not just, I mean, of course, stroke patients, but in addition, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. We also are excited. We're doing a lot of work with children with autism. And oh my goodness, it's, it's shocking to see mm. what these kids with autism can do on the gear. Uh, the, the interesting part is they don't get dizzy. Children with autism, I can spin them a hundred times up in the sky, fly them, spin them, just keep them spinning crazy and they don't get dizzy. So like, let's talk about the human brain and all the crazy things the human brain can do. So uh, we're working with athletes. We're working with um, post-concussion. We're also working with traumatic brain injuries, uh, specifically even NFL and NHL athletes have been uh, coming to work with us. So, and once again, all seeing improvements. Although when I talk about how it applies to your everyday life, of course, better balance, better athlete or better you, same thing, faster brain processing speed, better you and better decision-making, which I think is really a key part of, of a recovery period of really decision-making for yourself and for others as, as you're healing. So th this has been our project. Uh, we also just got our U.S. patent. So we, we think we're really, really cool. And I feel like I have a great patent attorney. <laughs> so excited about that. So we just got our U.S. patent. And, um, but the weird part is we're, we're an old company. We've already solved all of our problems and the fact that we've been doing this for 28 years. So it's, it's very exciting. But the application to the general public has really been uh, stunning for us. Uh, and, and I was telling, I was telling Aaron on his show, um, I, I really don't care about the money. I only care that we make payroll. I, I care a little bit about the money. I just got to make payroll every two weeks. <laughs> As long as we're making payroll, I don't care. But all I care about are outcomes. And, and that's all I care about. To the point, I'm, I'm obsessed with this project of how many people we can help and how many groups we can help and, and how we can change people's lives. That, that, that's all I care about. That's and, awesome. And making payroll. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, we're in good shape. So um, so does anyone have any questions? Like, like this is so lovely and, and I really appreciate this opportunity. I have two questions. This is Gunnar from Hawaii. And I've got tone in my left leg because I had a, a, a really bad uh, brainstem stroke that took out my whole left side. So looking up has always made me dizzy. And would this affect that portion of looking up and that balance it's and so uh, how how what's your rpms how fast are you spinning so the... you're gonna love this it's it's all personally adjustable every person can have it done specifically to their needs so like it can go like like the one lady so slow and it's just one turn and the nice part of this too is you do have the freedom to move your head as you're doing and I have lots of people that don't, they don't like to move it. They just hold their head straight and, and that's enough that they just hold their head straight. Uh, the interesting part of the vestibular system and actually one of the things that they're talking about through COVID 
with especially children that when they stop, remember when we were kids, how you'd roll and play and jump and go outside. And now, now all kids do is look at their screens all day long. And so then because of that, the kids aren't moving their heads oh. enough. So really, mm. kids, young children are showing significant, almost stroke-like behavior uh, because they don't move their heads enough and that vestibular system hasn't really moved. There's a whole rash of children now that are toe walkers. They just walk on their toes because they don't move their heads enough. And it's really six months of PT to get the kids to walk like humans again, heel to toe. So these are all the little pieces of the vestibular. So the, the question I have is this, does this reduce tone is what I want to know. No. Does, this, does this affect tone in any way or is it just balance? So it's an excellent question. And I and I have to say, I, I don't know that I it does that, other than it does force you to balance on both feet. So I do have people, I've worked with several amputees that brought their balance back to center. So even though they were a mid-left thigh amputee, I got their balance back to center. And so in that sense, I think it would help tone just because it forces you to really balance on both feet at the same time. But and it's not like a bike or something like that that could also do it. You know, it's not it's not a biking motion. Sheila, did I miss did I miss it because Gunnar was asking if does it help with looking up and being dizzy? Did you answer that? A little bit, because like really keeping your head straight, you could do that on the spinner too. Yet you do have the ability to move your head on it. That it it could train it. It would take some training. Yeah. That's also where the body harness comes into play too, that even if that did make you dizzy and you felt off balance, the body harness would catch you. Thank you. In the, in the first year after my strokes, which were seven years ago on April Fool's Day, okay? Uh, if I would, yeah, no joke. If I would <laughs> lean forward, I may as well just keep going. I would roll forward. I would just keep going. And and raising my head up would make me want to fall backwards. I just couldn't. This this motion was was just disconnected from the rest of my body. I just couldn't keep my balance. So I'm very interested in this in this. Uh, yeah, procedure. like one of those canals was completely not working. You know, and, and that's that's the crazy part. Those three little semicircular canals really tie to everyone and everything. So yeah, I, I can totally understand exactly what you're talking about, Gunnar. Absolutely. What's the name of your company again? It's the company's name is Vestibular Training Services. I put the link in the chat. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, vestibular. But we joke we have the world's worst marketing guy because you have to be able to spell vestibular. You know, like it's terrible. So we also have a, a side website that leads into the main website which is what I put in the chat too, of spinyourbrain.com because it's too, it, it's, you got to spell vestibular. <laughs> is this available everywhere or is it? Yes. What? So we, we ship worldwide. Um, we, we have, we have gear all over the world. We also have half our sales going into people's homes. Um, and, and, and I'm going to say too, it, it's not, it's not inexpensive. It's, $9,950 of gear, but it also includes the eye bolt, you know, like for the ceiling. So it just needs an eye bolt and a plug-in and you're ready to go. Uh, 10 to 14 foot ceilings, but even for shorter people, we have we have ours on a nine foot ceiling and it, it works just fine for what I need it to do. Uh, let, it, let, let me run a, a quick question by you, Sheila, while I'm thinking about it. How often, let's say you bought it, you you purchased it, how often would you want to do this? So the answer is, it, it, everyone's in a different situation. Most of my athletes do it every single day. Um, I'm told that the Russian athletes do it three times a day. <laughs> of course, those poor Russian kids are like, more is better, you know, but, <laughs> but, but my, my mom does it once a week, five minutes once a week, and she's happy with those results. Uh, I have worked with several uh, traumatic brain injury people, and they did do it every single day for that five minutes. The one other thing, though, 
And we kind of did this on purpose. It takes one other person to run it. So while you're on the gear, you can't run it yourself. <laughs> You'll get all, it'll just be a tangled mess. So it really is designed that your spouse or your neighbor or your children or you, somebody else has to hold the rope and run the gear. And we really did that originally so that people wouldn't mess around on the gear. But we figured two brains were better than one. And especially <laughs> for children, like in kids, we didn't want the kids running it themselves and flying off of it and breaking their wrist, you know, or something like that. So, so that's part of where that body harness is very comforting. Like, although here's the other downside of the company, you can't be frail. So I, I talk about if Harriet is 95 years old and has a really, really frail rib cage, uh, you know, like that harness could engage and then she'd break her ribs, you know? So if you're frail, this, this isn't the product for you either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw someone raise their hand. Hi, Aaron, go ahead. Is she like good, you know, just so you people know, I want, could you repeat the three areas, target areas, your machine or the vestibular responsible for it. I want you to listen to this, Dr. Byers. Right. So the three biggest points that it covers is your balance. Okay. And, and once again, that, that the balance is what makes you human. And when your balance is great, your 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 brain is able to do other things. When your balance is broken, your life is really, really hard. You know, and I think we can all agree with that you know, at different points of our balance issues that your life was really hard when your balance is off. But the biggest thing for vestibular is balance. The second thing that's really big is that cognitive processing speed, like how fast your brain can really practice and, and move. And, and so many people after they work with me are like, oh, there's lights on. I, I feel so much more alert. People talk about having like spidey senses, you know, when, when they, after they work with me, that, that they just feel so much sharper. Um, and then the, the, the third one, the big one is non-spatial disorientation. Although here's the other big one that I have everybody comment on that I didn't know initially when we started this. Everyone talks about getting really good sleep, like some of the best sleep of their lives. And so look at the additional benefits of that, of in getting really good sleep, you feel good. You, you know, you feel like you can really take on a day. Versus remember when our children were small and we weren't getting any sleep? <laughs> I was crazy. Like I was the crazy young mom because I wasn't getting enough sleep. And so that's when that brain cleans itself. And I really feel like that's a key factor. So, so you know, it, it's all these things that that vestibular can really do. Although one of the other extra bonuses, one of the 20 things that vestibular can do is also abstract thinking. So isn't that fascinating that that vestibular system that leads from your eardrum into your brain is also connected to abstract thinking? Hmm. I find that fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, the reason I brought up Sheila is because as Sheila knows, I'm kind of head over heels over Twitter bit over what the distrib dis distributor does. And all three of those, <laughs> I don't know if Sue Survivor did, and someone another does not show sure about that. But if you like me in a wheelchair, and she doesn't have talk about this, there are things we can do and different types of training methods that we can do at home that us a wheelchair in a wheelchair can do. But I'm telling you, there's something magical about this distributor, and I'm, I'm doing more and more research on it, but it's something to pay attention to. I love that, Aaron. Thank you. And and so Sheila, why don't you expand on that a little bit? You know, uh, he talked about there's things that you can do in a wheelchair. What what comes to your mind? To tell us. Lots lots of options. And the other thing too, on reading up, there's already forty nine thousand academic papers already published on vestibular. If you just search PubMed.gov. <laughs> You know, there are, there are 49,000 academic papers already published. Uh, so it really talks about this really is um, a, a key factor. It's really the master system of the brain. Mm -hmm. uh, but what you can do, even wheelchair bound, is I know this sounds, it sounds basic, but even just keeping that head moving, you know, the, the more like even like figure eights with your head and looking at something, but then tracking it this way and then looking back at it this way. So keeping that head moving 
is also all part of those fluids within the vestibular system. So there's also um, already products out there like spinning oh. chairs, you know, like, like a spinning chair, you know, that those are out there, even like my office chair. <laughs> <laughs> gently spinning you know and and even I know it sounds easy but like even on a spinning chair like my office chair crossing my feet over as I move myself as I turn the chair um but even anything that crosses that midline really helps get both sides of your brain connected at the same time so anything crossing the midline is great and adding just a little bit of turn to it is all connected to that vestibular Boy, to me, it's so exciting because, um, you know, it, it's so true that all of these things have an effect on us and, and just turning your head and, and like you talked about, even the kids who, who are just, you know, looking at the computer all day and all that. I mean, how, how true is that? I never really thought about that. And, and, you know, uh, having your head move like that is critical to continue to grow. So, are there some other questions? There got to be some other questions. Anybody? Is there a back order or anything? What's the what's the lead time on getting your setup or whatever? Because I'm I'm thinking of suggesting this to my my neurologist. I mean, he's someone who would probably jump on this because he's done the deep deep scan MRIs on my brain a couple of times now, and you know I, I've got very little brain left, so it's it's. They're scratching their heads. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be here. You know, when you got one percent of your white matter left working, it's yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so the answer is four to six weeks. Uh, we have we have a couple of units always in stock. You know, if you kind of fall into that lump, that you know, we can get them out really quick. Uh, we do tons of Zoom training, and the of course, like half my sales, like say, go into people's homes, but that's really not what we're excited about. You're exactly right. Uh, we're excited about getting in with the neurologist, the PTs, the OTs, the, the physical therapists, the, the, you're going to love it, the fitness workout places so that you can go work out your body and your brain at the same time mm. uh, is, is really, we're, we're trying to get into those places because really to get in with a physical therapist, one set of gear could help a hundred people a day. You know, same thing, getting into the schools, 10 units in one school, I could run hundreds of kids through a day on, on just the, you know, the same gear. So all of this is, is really our goal is to help more people with one unit than just in your house and helping four people and the neighbor kid and a couple of your relatives, you know, which that, is great. <laughs> that is crazy cool because, um, you know, we, everybody's so um, inundated and passionate and all this about going and working out and they work out their bodies and, and, you know, everybody's body looks, you know, like diamonds and all this stuff, but thank you, <laughs> especially Aaron's, but our brains, uh, gosh, we haven't put the energy and the thought into growing our brains and as stroke survivors, we've got a road ahead of us okay we've got to continue to work on this this is critical stuff um and that's a passion button for everybody sitting in this room i'm sure of it so uh man i had another question does it tilt to sheila or no 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 it's it's a totally flat surface so a lot of people actually they do it in their bare feet and it does vibrate from the engine underneath it oh you, know, so you get a little bit of vibration up through your feet and really the adults don't fly you know like the kids do but there is that option for the kids to take that flight and to be honest the kids go nuts on the gear although i'm gonna say I've had plenty of 60, 70 year olds that are like, okay, I saw the kids fly. I want to at least try it. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know, sure, you can try it, you know? So, and, 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 and they talk about it's the craziest time and the best time they've had in years. You know what I mean? But it, it is stunning. It's almost a little bit like NASA. Like it is that feeling of float and fly and it's almost like an extreme disorientation because your brain's like what is going on what's happening to me and uh that's that's part of the training 
is that really the fascinating part is at the six to eight week mark, I can't get you dizzy anymore. I can train the dizzy out of you. <laughs> that was going to be my next question. It was, it was that exact thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A question. Other question, 1A? Um, yes, are, are these commonly used in rehab facilities? It's growing. It, it's growing. Like I, I'm, I'm moving as fast as I can since 2020. Yeah, like, and really um, the group just kind of keeps growing and growing. I also am in the process with, I'll be honest, a little behind the scenes here, with three different major franchise PT companies one is like 500 locations, one is 800, one is like 1,100 locations that I'm trying to get in with that group. And I'm still in the process of getting my systems in. Everyone says they want it, but <laughs> making it happen. But then to be in at 1,100 locations for you to be able to just drop into, is that's the goal. I'm just not quite there yet. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm close. Yeah. Uh, so... I'm actually leaving as soon as this meeting's over, I'm going to PT. So I'm going to share this with my PT. And so tell me the, the retail purchase price is $9,995. So I got it right under 10,000 and you're going to laugh. The reason why is because the U S military can credit card swipe that without having to go through purchasing. It's under 10,000. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So it's that's under awesome. 10 grand. So yep. I, they don't need approval. And that's how that price came to be. You know, and, and, and we, do, we do tons of Zoom training and, you know, we do, and I do tons of in-personal training. Like I just was down in Atlanta with pro motocross and, and I was there for several days working with all the athletes with pro motocross and, and their training teams. So th these are the pieces that I can do, but we have a whole staff. We have a staff, we have, you know, we have shipping, we have a chief medical officer, we have a head physical therapist. We have a chief um, PhD research coordinators coordinating all of our research papers out of the University of Minnesota with Dr. Olson. So like you know, the staff just keeps growing and growing. And all of those people are are part of the process to help more PTs and OTs and neurologists be able to bring the gear into their, their facilities. I just have one more quick comment that I want to get in and somebody else can add a question. Um, you know, one of the things that, let's see, how do I say this? One of the things I've been working on since my stroke, which was eight years ago, is really kind of getting over that fear. You know, the fear of falling, if, you know, all of the things we do in PT, I really think if PTs could train people to overcome their fear initially, their recovery would be better. So that I was really intrigued when you talked about that, because I can see exactly how this would help you. Well, and I think you get more brave as you do it. So we start out one yeah. turn. You know, and my other thing that people always talk to me about is like, I feel like I'm never going to get better. Like, this is it. You know, and when you start on our little spin dial, it starts from zero to a hundred. And, and when you start at 17, but then the next session, you're at 20 and the next session, you're at 22 and 28 and 20, you know, and 39. And, and you just keep moving up the dial in your ability to not get dizzy from it. You are improving. And there's something really brave about that, but there's also something very gentle about that. Like, but you can see the improvement, but you can feel the improvement. And that I think just makes you feel more brave. That body harness. Absolutely. I've also had people tell me they want to just buy just the body harness because it, it's comfy. You know, <laughs> like it's tight to the body and it just feels really safe. Like really, really safe. I've even had one of the kids ask me if she could compete wearing the body harness. And I'm like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> No, kid. Yeah, so, yeah. Aaron, I, I see your hand up. Go ahead, Aaron. Thank, thank you, Sheila. Keith, you should be a lot more tinge, bro. Uh, but Get on with it. For for those like me that don't have now an extra ten thousand dollars sitting around, I actually I want. All, I'm telling you, Sheila is on this thing. If you have their you know, local circle hospital, please tell your PT or your OT or whoever, 
contact Sheila directly. If we can get our PTs, our neurologists, mm -hmm. or whatever, involved in Sheila's program and get that put in, like she said earlier, get it put inside the room and help hundreds, thousands maybe within a couple of months. I mean, now you and I may not be able to afford that 10 Gs, but your PT, your big hospital sure can. So I encourage you to get all of Sheila and definitely get it put in. And not only help you, but help all the other surgeons of ours. Because this vestibular, vestibular is really, really critical. Yeah, I'm telling good. you, it's probably the cornerstone of our issues. But I mm -hmm. think we agree. Very good, Aaron. I appreciate that. Not I, one thing I will do is when I send out the replay of this, I'll make sure all of uh, her information is on there. And yes. Sheila, are you okay if I include your email address as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. Come yeah, I like to do that, and that way people can touch base with you and all that. Gunner, did you have another question, buddy? Yes. Has there a case of anyone not improving from this treatment? Okay, you're gonna love the answer. My my group that scores the worst are teenage boys. Okay, <laughs> it's it's teenage boys because I really think that that frontal lobe hasn't developed enough. You know, like <laughs> it, it's the corniest <laughs> teenage boys. But my 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 little girls, my teenage girls, they do great. And anyone after like 20 years old, I get really, really consistent numbers on from everybody and, and everyone improves. And just to add to it, I recently had, I worked with some local police and SWAT team here in Minneapolis. And so the guys went and shot at the gun range first <coughs> and they scored it. And then they, he came and worked with, then they came and worked with me and did my balance mat, the spinner back to the balance mat. Every single one of the guys improved their balance on the balance mat and they're processing the reactionary time on the balance mat. And then they all went back to shoot again, to reshoot. And so far, 100% of my guys have significantly improved their scores, even according to the gun range master that scored the, the, the two wow. shoots. Wow, so, that's impressive. So, yeah, that. but like, if, once again, like if I improve your balance and I make your brain process faster, you're going to do better shooting. Does that make sense? Like yeah. you're going to do better at your job. You're going to do better walking. You're going to do better driving your car. And, and these I'll, are all the pieces that I'll apply you, to the real world. I'll tell you, Sheila, it, it's like, um, uh, you can, I mean, you can't keep up with the marketing and all that that would be needed because, you know, there isn't too many folks out there, too many things out there that don't need uh, some kind of, I mean, especially if they tried it first. Wow. That's incredible. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's actually our biggest concern in our company. Like, like when we sit down to staff meetings, the big concern is, oh, like we're going to get 2000 orders this week <laughs> and next week. What if we, but what if we got 5,000 or like, oh no, we, we can't keep up. You know I mean? Like, to be honest, like that's our over concern is that we're, we're trying not to over market because we, do you manufacture as well? Yes, we, we manufacture. So so all my manufacturers are here in the United States. The, the rigging and the harnesses come out of Minnesota and the spinner comes out of Delaware. So everything's made here in the States, nothing plastic, no weird China things, you know, um, it's all here in the States and we have really pretty good control over it. But we joke that, I, but I can't do 5,000 this week. You know, <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, well there's there's also a plus i don't know you know <laughs> there's also a plus to growing it uh as you can and, and keeping things under control yeah that, 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 that's our goal is to keep it under control as we move forward so uh, yeah so what comes with the unit i mean does it have that display that shows your balance and head movement and all that stuff so what all comes, comes with it oh it comes with a newfoundland it comes with dogs. <laughs> I'll take the movie. Yeah. Okay, get it. Back up, Doug. Um, it comes with the harness and spinner. It comes with the spinner and all of the gear. It comes with the rigging and the eye bolt. And it comes with four body harnesses uh, for all different sizes. So from 20 pounds up to 350 pounds. The balance mat is a separate company entirely. Um, and the balance mat is about $4,000 from another company called body tracks. 
and we can help set up those orders too. But most PTs already have that stuff and most of them use body tracks, to be honest. Like, so that's part of how we ended up with them is that all the other PTs were using this company called body track. And so that's what we got to. So most of the PTs and OTs already own that. Um, but it's about $4,000 to buy one, but it's one of the coolest things. Hey, I ever look, can I say one more thing? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait a second. Aaron, do you need my permission first? Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I only need the Sheila's. Uh, I love you, Keith. You know. I love you too, buddy. Uh, this, if you like me, nobody gets stuck in the price. There's a big mission here. And that's to get this into our PTs, get these into our stroke hospital. That really is our main I mean, if you guys want to do something that really will change people's lives, get Sheila's equipment into into Kaiser, into Sutter, into different hospitals. That really is where, I mean, she's not going to talk about that. She didn't know this yet. But I think it's if we can get the, uh, the stroke community out, getting, our, getting these into hospitals where people like us get to them. Mm, that's I, a great yeah, point. I mean, you're talking, about, you're talking about a game changer, really, because yeah. I've been still in a wheelchair, but I first had my brain injuries and stroke. I couldn't even sit up in bed on the edge of bed and fall over. And if they have one of these machines in my cardiac therapy hospital, it would have changed my outcome completely. Absolutely, bud. I, I, I appreciate hearing that because that's so true. And, and we've got to work on how to get that done. And I'm sure Sheila is all over that, you know, in her marketing team. And uh, I hope you are. And, you know, Sheila, I want to say thank you so much because, you know, you may not see, and of course you talked to Aaron too, but uh, before that, you may not see the stroke community being that big of a, but we have impact and we are growing. Our communities Aaron's, Michael's, Marsha, ours, Lane, I mean, everybody in here, really, we are growing this move. That's a movement that's happening right now. And I'm telling you, uh, it's a huge thing and we're making a difference. And uh, so, yeah, it's so good to have you a part of this. Uh, and we'll continue to, and we need to stay together, you and I, and and talk once in a while and keep keep moving this thing forward. It, it, and th that's my goal. I mean, I know it sounds crazy. I want to change the world and not sound crazy for saying that. And you're going to laugh. Guess how much I charge my clients to use the gear? 10 bucks. 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 bucks. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and, it, and the gear all got paid off very quickly, like in less than two months, the gear paid off at 10 bucks a person. And it, yeah. it paid off. I had to talk about my truck didn't get paid off in two months. You know, <laughs> you know, and well, like the house didn't, you know. I want to make one other quick comment to everybody here. You know, Sheila is obviously so passionate about her product and it's been years and years that she's had this thing and i just want us all to recognize sheila for um what she's done um throughout yeah and um we were thankful for you sheila uh and it's a big deal it's i'm not joking it's it's a big big deal and we you know we're up against the clock but gosh we certainly appreciate all of this i will make sure that i send out your um web address and your email address if that's okay and um you know let's keep moving this this ball forward well and i just read a paper saying that it takes 17 years for things to really come to the market and i when i read that i i cried reading that the, the fact that it could take 17 years to get to people, I, that and the inner coach in me and the leadership, I, I'm a rhinoceros, I just move forward every day. We're not stepping backwards. We're just going forward. And what I feel like as a community, 17 years is absolutely unacceptable to 
to have anything come to market. Boy, it didn't take that long for COVID meds to come to market, especially when there was so much money involved. Yeah, and I got a whole thing on, but these are people's lives that are more important than money. Yeah. And, and if we as a community can move forward, this doesn't take 17 years to get to market. That's what <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to hang on for a couple more minutes. Oh, Marsha. So have you thought about doing a TED talk? I'd love to do a TED talk. Oh, I love that. Oh, so much fun. I've been at several medical conferences and that group keeps growing. I keep getting asked to more of those. Um, I, I spoke in Europe and I got booked into like 23 other seminar, other medical conferences out of the one in Europe. So I think if you want something of um, more consumer nation, so like if you want me to come look for something, I have to know about it. If my doctor knows about it, it doesn't help me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm just thinking that maybe you want to do a TED Talk or something along those lines. That'd be so fun. <laughs> My family would die. <laughs> what a TED talk! You know, <laughs> I would be so excited. So that was a great I, point, I, I I totally understand where you're coming from on that. Gunner, go ahead real quick. Is there any uh, marketing brochures or something that I can turn my doctors and hospitals onto? Some way that I can connect to you, connect to so that they can understand what we've just been witnessing today because this is just super exciting the website you know i just i just just kick everyone through the website you know yeah it's the easiest way to find this is all the contact stuff's on there we have a bunch of videos on there we have some military clips on there of even some uh blackhawk pilots talking about what's, how much they improved what's that web address spinyourbrain.com uh, spinyourbrain.com spin spin mm -hmm. i've put it in chat mm -hmm. i yeah, and I'll, I'll make sure that it's on the replay as well. Um, so if you guys are getting those replays, you'll see it as well. But it's, it is easy, Sheila, thanks. Spinyourbrain.com. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to start wrapping up. Uh, hang, hang tough, Sheila, for if you can. Um, are there any stroke anniversaries today or this month? Anybody had their? I had mine on April 1st. That's right. That's right. Got her. Wait, Got her. Her. Got her. Do it the That's same good. time. Hilarious. The only <laughs> you could have a stroke on April 1st. And, and two on the same day. I mean, two at the same time. I don't do anything halfway, right? Oh, Got her. That's occipital, awesome, buddy. So the occipital one took out the vision of my right eye. That's back to 100%. And the, and the brain stem stroke took out my left side and you can see how this works now. This was zero seven years ago. For two weeks, I couldn't even open my hand. Could you not are... open my hand until they put the TENS unit, the NMES unit on my arm and opened my hand 10 times. And the first day it didn't take. So I insisted they try it again the second day, 10 times. And it took. Wow. And as soon as I knew I could open my hand, I knew everything else could follow and I could come back. I love that Gunner, because it's that knowledge. It's that knowledge and belief in yeah, yourself belief. that makes a huge difference, my friend. And we could talk Absolutely. about that more and more, but uh, great. <coughs> um, uh, real quick, real quick, you guys, I've got uh, uh, persistent pain coming up. Uh, the next one, then peer support group. Uh, there's a, uh, Steve Van Houten is going to talk about that. I got Dr. Kobe Haynes with Brain Health coming on uh, the week after. And then uh, Gail Flans, Life After Stroke. So we got a big lineup. I so appreciate all of you guys so much. And one last time, Sheila. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. And you are awesome. And we appreciate you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Anybody else? Any quick comments? Aaron, Thank you. Outstanding. Buddy, Michael, Diane, all of you guys, appreciate you all, and we'll see you soon, okay? Thank you. Thanks, right. Keith. Thank Aloha. Bye-bye. so much.
Sheila, I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you and uh, I'm trying all that to. you've hit the thing. done, and um, I can't even express it. So I appreciate you so okay. much. Cancel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, really, really appreciate you. I want you to know that, and we do need to stay, stay, you know, together uh, as we move forward. So grateful, and and really appreciate the support. Um, yeah. yeah, like I said, my husband's like, so did did you sell you know three million units this week? And 